I played, a, I, I played against one the other night, and I completely forgot that uh, Reflect is now like a big AoE thing. Yeah, this but shit's crazy. All, this, all these fickle illusions appeared, I was like, hang on a second. Some, something's broken here, and I realized, no, he got changed. I was just like, what? That shit cray. What's going on? Why is there a raffle in chat? Who the hell started a raffle? Raffle, guys, just type your favorite number and raffle, you can... Raffle, gig away. You can win a Kappa face. I don't know. Well, join Dota Red, we'll type Kappa in chat. <laughs> XD? Type Kappa and your name, you could be famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Zioma. 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 See, I, I have a hard time with the S-Y combination, and I always called them Seoma. I was like, uh, it's something like Seoma, I know that's not right, but it's something like that. Then he just started calling him by his hero name. Like, screw it. Yeah, hey, forget this. <laughs> it's like when the Chinese players start using Chinese characters. Oh, yeah. Forget that. I mean, that's just not happening. What is this set from Winrix, by the way? Where is she? Um, Feather swing hair. Yeah, she's eh. kinda cute. She's got this tomboy look going on to her. Is that what you're into? You know me. Alright, so let's talk about this laney phase, shall we? Swindles is gonna be going up against uh, Solo's Dazzle, backed up obviously by the Centaur. It's a bit dangerous, but uh, Solo. Let's actually just look at a catch the creep wave here as it comes in. The range creep didn't go first. Window couldn't actually block that one out, so the creepy equilibrium will go to the favor of Vega Squadron. And already their harassment game has begun. Same goes in the middle lane, where uh, Sioma has actually blocked out Chessy from a nice little fissure and given Noon some room to work around. <laughs> that is not going to roll off the tongue very easily, that's for sure. Noon. <laughs> Oh god. I, like, I literally uh, look at the name, Swindle. I see no one, and I say no. He's dead? Oh yeah, he is. Bye bye, Swindle. Alright. That's, uh, that's my debut of the Swindle offlane. Oh damn. And he gets caught out by uh, Sioma's rotation as the Earthshaker. Trading hits with the Dazzle. That being said, Mag is not having a good time either. He's going for the double ion shell plan. He's going up against a full tri-lane. And they're doing a good job shutting him out from experience, but of course the lane will still push forward, and it's going to be a tough lane for the Spectre. And this is why it's so necessary for Vlad to sack his own levels and just focus on keeping Darkseer out, because you can't afford to let him get level 3 at decent time, because otherwise your Spectre is just going to lose way too much regen and start suffering in CS. And not a single point of experience for Mag. So they're going to stack up large camp here, so Sioma's going to get that going for him. But Ancient Apparition hasn't leveled anything up yet. Zephyrix still standing around waiting for, you know, Chilling Touch. Maybe a cold feet if they can land a Shackle, but you don't really expect Chessy to go for an early point in Shackle. Ooh, Regen, that's a nice pick up for TA. That'll certainly help out in this matchup. Swindle forced to blow through uh, Health Potion. With the Dazzle always in lane, Pasha is going to be slowed down in levels. Where you compare like Ziz right now, who's completely getting... Um, Solo experience. Should stop clicking on him though. Every single time I click on him, he's missing CS. Yeah. The cuss. Yeah. It's tough the to last hit underneath the tower. Does, does he die again here? Yeah. I mean, there's an AH yeah. trying to uh, The block? Oh, the block is there. He, oh, he doesn't have tree. He doesn't have Tango seed through, so if they body block him enough. No. Never mind. I forgot. Sprint gives you that phase moving. So. He's going to eat the mango, turn around, go for the stun, and get out. The stun will come in, but it's not enough damage. Just to go all the way back to base, TP down to bottom lane as well. And AA, down in this bottom lane, he does have to be careful. Because if Shama comes in again with another Fisher, this ancient apparition has nothing. No yeah. boots, no way to survive or escape. Uh, they're He's not going to find it. It's got just enough vision from this ward to give him the heads up. Our mid matchup, 14 and 7 compared to Chessy's 10 and 3, so Noon's actually doing very well for himself. The harassment of the side blades is going to work.
with this centaur. Once he gets up into level six plus blink dagger, this is a relatively squishy hero so over on complexity. You know, Spectre, depending on what kind of build she goes into, probably you know, the the treads into hopefully Radiance Rush for her, but unlikely, I think. Just going for like drums, maybe an urn. Yeah, the, I uh, think so too. A little better. Swindle, uh, Sprint's gonna last long enough that he should be able to get out of this one, it looks like. In fact, Can you turn? Sioma drops uh, a bit low. He starts eating his way through the trees. Actually has another Fisher set up. That's a DD on Chessie. His power shot doesn't actually land. Swindle's going to get bursted down. Pasha may die because of that, though. He gets the shackle shot, and it's going to be well worth the life of Swindle. If he actually no managed to get the kill solo, a little bit of body blocking there. Not quite the greatest setup. Solo heals himself, actually gets some damage on a chesty. That last hit from the Ancient Apparition isn't quite enough, though. What a fortuitous no. room there. Oh, wait, wait, what? Nice. I, I actually turned away from that one because I didn't see enough mana on Chessie, but... Yeah, the 2 zero, one build on Dazzle. Full aggression onto this Lardar, expecting just to be able to zone out, but mm -hmm. good rotation in from Windranger. The DD rune definitely, definitely Radiant helping out a touch. And you could see, like, the moment they go for that kind of aggression... Oh, this actually caught himself in the trees. But they, this does Radiant leave the Spectre open again. So, as, especially once the level 6 comes in for the Centaur, you were talking about earlier, like, there's so much kill power on this hero. Add in the Vacuum Stomp Double Edge uh, potential combo they've got as well. Yeah. So there's Aquila on Spectre. It, it could really even be the Phase Boots Ring of Aquila and look to fight a little bit earlier with the damage you get from that. <laughs> I mean, I, I like Phase Boots and like uh, Phase Boots plus Urn or Aquila or whatever. I, I like that build, but I'm not sure if it's going to work out. You're going to tank up a little bit more. Swindle's yeah. blocked in the game. I like your idea. Phase boots, he should be fine. Again, it's just the problem. Oh, maybe? No, oh, they get the stun, double edge, and it's enough. Whoa, that heavy amount of double damage damage. Double, double edge damage. Double, 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 yeah, double yeah. damage. Yeah, that, that, that. Oh, no. Oh, don't quite get him, Sea Freak. Will be able to sneak himself ahead of that one. Meanwhile, in this top rune area, gets the bounty rune, and Vlad is actually going to be slowed down to a point that he almost lands on the cliff. Now when Shackle Shot comes in, Focus Fire rips through the refraction, but not enough damage to really threaten you. Chessy, though, with the rotations he's making down to bottom lane over and over again, definitely losing out at last hits here, and the TA has actually been clearing out Ancients bit by bit. Oh, so, trap, trap one, trap two, trap three. Now the Poison Touch, surround him, and get off the... Oh, that doesn't do quite enough damage, but a great Shackle Shot from Chessy, not gonna be enough to allow him to live. He still gets run down the double support rotations, thanks in part to that uh, illusion pickup from Solo. Uh, Solo he's able to get the kill. Who's TPing? Winter Wyvern. Everything for complexity right now is just fr from the back foot. Down the bottom lane, Swindles caught again by Pat. Oh, do you commit for this kill? He's got the double edge. He's going to try and kill himself onto Swindle, but he's being kited <laughs> around. Nicely played. Z Freak and Swindle, the brothers, showing the deadly duo that they can be. There were four stick charges on the sensor. I don't know if he would have been able to get away with it, but maybe it would have been worth a try, turning around to kill the AA or something like that. But they've left Spectre up the top. You can see Mag just you know, trying his hardest to get in and farm efficiently from lane to jungle and back again. But the Dire, they're stacking up, they're building things for a little bit later on, and if the Spectre goes unaddressed, for another couple of minutes, things are going to really start to look scary because you'll have no mech on Darkseid just yet. The T8 still is yet to really burst in farm. You know, she she is ahead by a good margin, 1,100 over the Wind Ranger, but there hasn't yet been that situation where she's taken down a, a massive amount of stacks and really created that gap between herself and the other mid. Oh, they can just hard push this lane. Centaur, double edge, almost kills Creep Wave, then they get a Shadow Wave in. Heals up the creep wave to full and did burst down the rest of those creeps. And they've got this double siege creep. Swindle comes forward, able to take out one of the siege wagons. Still gonna be a lot of damage on this tier one power though. Centaur ultimate, they're gonna try and chase down Swindle. They know his stun is on cooldown and they'll get the kill because of it. Ooh! Just barely. Solo's maxed out poison build is enough. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Noon's gonna take advantage of that extra movement speed as well and run down the Ancient Apparition. 
Now challenging Chessie with the meld. Uh, and of course, doesn't actually land. And oh, pops no the run. haste rune. No win run, but there is, of course, Vlad. And he's ready with the response. And he's looking for a team. He is. Four or five position. This could be his team. <laughs> no, or not. Not, not, if you're, not if your name is that while you're playing for them. Uh -huh. Oh, threatening it. Vlad. It's very far forward here. They want to TPM. Oh, yeah, they're going to fight this one out. He managed to get the Splinter Blast on to Pasha. That's big, as now Ziz might be able to finish him off. The Stomp goes down. He needs one more hit, but never mind. Now make it two with the heal coming out. They managed to take out the Wind Ranger. Looks like a stun stopped his TP, and they finish him off with the Power Shot. Jesse is going to keep running in and try and go for another Power Shot. Long range, not quite on point. Pasha saw that one coming, but Swindle... He's on the hunt. He's got the Amplify damage. Chessie, he's got another it. power shot. Oh, this one's not going to be enough to finish him off, though. The Tranquil Boots has healed Pasha up too much. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, while they're making that heavy commitment, Noon has actually pushed the Tier 1 tower down to below half HP. Same, same as top as well. Mag is cutting creep waves. He's farming jungle. And they've, they've given him a lot of room. Mech is complete now, if he wants it. And then head back into the Arcane Boots. So, uh, with that Spectre Haunt down to the bottom lane, they know they need to make something of it. Which is why they're trying to hard commit for this Tier 1 tower at bottom lane. But they don't have any good way of clearing out creep waves. Oh, you mentioned the Centaur with the double edge Shadow Wave combo. There's nothing like that over on Complexity. They've got Splinter Blast, Power Shot. But these guys are rarely going to be together when hard pushing into a lane. I have to give up and go back to farming top. So he's got Treads and a Killer right now on the Spectre. I think that's a good call. Too much burst damage from the uh, Centaur. I even like the one level of um, dispersion. Feels kind of necessary against the Darkseer's early harassment and will help out a bit, bit later in mitigating some of that incoming damage. There's no way you can force Mag out of lane though now with the mech. It's super difficult. Chessie throws out a stack and what's that? Face root plus bottle. That's it. We still got about a thousand gold saved up though. Probably see the standard from him going to the point boost to Aghanim Scepter. Yeah. But the one thing is, you know, the AA plus the Winter Wyvern, they're getting level sixes. They've got Winter's Curse ready now actually, and the AA isn't far away from his. So these big ultimates will be ready soon. And these are the things that are going to be really good at deterring the push-in from Vega, defending their tier 2s especially. Yeah, they, they actually have really good, like when it comes to high ground defense, really good spam to be able to stop that. Which being, as you Winter's mentioned, dead. oh, he's, yeah, tick, oh my god. Level 3 poison touch, dude. Uh-oh. Shell Grave, he doesn't have a TP, so he knows. He just has to commit onto Z Freak. He has enough to be able to throw out another Shadow Wave. He actually eats the mango, but uh, realizes his spells are on cooldown, so not much he could do there. That's hilarious, though. That's fine. Dazzle for Slaughter. That that Poison Touch maxed out. Pre 12 minute Desolator Tread on your Templar Assassin. Oh, this is the gap I was talking about. Went from 1,000 to 2,000 that were the head of the Wind Ranger, but it's that uh, key item differential. You know, the Wind Ranger is building into the Aghanim Scepter, which costs a hell of a lot more. And the Desolator, it's it's ready. Pasha's run around inside the jungle, trying to, uh, you know, that, that moment where you're in the jungle and you're just like, I'm close to my Blink Dagger, but I don't have enough regen. I don't want to go back to base, but you kind of have to. Ooh, Catamorn's gonna reveal Chessie. They get the stun. Oh god, look, Solo's stuck. All right, we'll we'll deal with that later though. Samus Slayer. Oh no, that's not gonna be good. He ends it. Shaggle shot. Now the Winter's Curse. Matt's gonna be in some serious trouble. They managed to get off the mech to keep him alive. Ice and it looks blast. like Swindle, but the Ice Blast comes in over the top. Swindle's still alive. They need some magic damage. They finally managed to take him out. Noon keeps on going. He's gonna get Deep Break. Just two shots him. And Chessie, he drops quite low as well. Solo might just be able to get the Poison Touch. Five. Oh, get the poison touch! That's probably the kill. They kill the boat, Steffi. Yeah, oh, they get the shallow grave. They run down Chessy. They're gonna surround him. Magic damage isn't quite enough. Oh, God. He just barely managed to survive there. Chessy looks like he may get out as well if he TPs away at the right time. Oh, look at that. No way. What? How did they not kill him? Wow, he gets out. The Winter Wyvern is gonna commit suicide to the uh, neutrals. That could have been so much better for Vega Squadron than it actually was. They all went for that play where it's like, right, this guy's dead, we'll go for the next target. Where yeah. All they had to do was hard commit to the Wind Ranger. You see that play though from Chessie? That was really legit. Throwing the power shot. To fake cross? Yeah. 
See if he could just fake the TA in the wrong direction. Actually, is Chessy going for Blink Rush? Is he? He might be. Yeah, looks like it. Why do you think that it... Oh, Shadow Blade? No, Force Staff. Huh. Why Force Staff over Blink Dash? I mean, if you're fast enough in your reactions, you should be able to blink before the animation of the Centaur. I don't know. And same kind of goes with the TA. Once you have like, a blink dagger there, like you should always be able to get the, off a wind run. Like the, the biggest reason for going force over blink in most situations is obviously that you can create mobility for your teammates. Uh huh. And I guess with the slaughter being slow on the blink dagger, being able to sprint and force the slaughter in to get that opening stun and then line up the shackle for it maybe is what they're looking for. Yeah, I guess. It's, it, for me, the, the thing is there's no blocking mechanism. Like if there's a clockwork or a tusk or something like that, like, that for me would seal the deal, be like, okay, I understand four staff, but it feels like when it's just, like, trying to give someone else mobility, it's too situational yeah. for me. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. Vega are actually trying to uh, take down Roshan, but a good power shot actually reveals how low Roshan is. He's going to try and go back in and commit to this one. Spectre Ultimate comes out, though. Ice Blast over the top. This could be good. A little bit off the mark, but it will flip some heroes. Yes. Sam Slayer is going to be caught by the Winter's Curse. They burst him down. Nice setup there. Pasha is on the side here, but he's already a bit low, and he has that... Uh, what? Oh, Shackle Shot. That's a good one. Stun comes in. Swindle. They're not going to be able to finish off Mag in time, though. He's back got the wall. Shell Grave now. The wall backing. Oh, he doesn't hit the wall in time. Noon, he just needs one real good hit on Swindemelons with the Melt Strike but it isn't enough. They caught the Wind Ranger at the very least. And now back in. On the right-hand side, Z-Freak. Nope, Solo can't quite catch him. More Splinter Blast coming out. Just kill Roshan. <laughs> yeah, they, they just need to finish him up. Oh, Vlad got caught. Pasha catches up to him, and he'll run him down. Yeah, got So in the end, Vega Squadron actually get a perfectly fine fight there. Z-Freak, uh, his ultimate, though. Oh, I don't know what he was aiming for. I mean, the shackle yeah. looked like a hack. I mean, obviously, shackle shot is uh, interesting in its targeting, but there's like a hero here and a hero here, and it somehow went like this. But I don't know. The Vega Squad are just too much magic burst damage. There's no real sustain out from complexity. The Spectre, 3,400 gold, 16 minutes in with Treads Aquila. So it's actually looking pretty good for them. Even with a lost fight like that, they've, they've still got a good chance in this game. This Vega Squadron, it's now their time, you know, with Aegis, Blink, TA with Desolator on top of that, the Centaur. Blink, and he's trying to get into Force Staff. Is that, uh, yeah, completed now, actually, for him. Now is the key moment in the game for the next five minutes or so to stop the Spectre going from Relic to Radiance and yep. take down these last Tier 2s. And even if he does get Radiance, you can still force the fights. He'll have the damage, but he won't have the HP. You know, if you're just able to focus him yeah. down. The Radiance is going to cause a lot of issues with Noon and his refraction. And the time comes. <laughs> they really need to finish this up, but he'll have enough for the Relic now. As long as he doesn't die in the process, Dagger comes out and that'll finish it up. Don't go to that secret shop, though. That He's got a trap. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Z Freak. I really like Z Freak as a support. I think he's usually got really good awareness. That one was pretty obvious, though. Yeah, Z Freak. Swindles are down the bottom lane without a TP. And uh, I guess Winter Weapon does have TP, but if something happens. It's going to happen really quickly. Yeah, at this point in time, I would say they just have to give up their tier 2. I think that's... There's no way they fight around these situations. So, probably the right call just going for two different tier 1 tower pushes, even if they don't get them, which doesn't look like either one of them will work. As long as they don't get caught in the process... Oh god, that is not the save. That only delays the inevitable. I think he was still dead with the Fisher, but that was not the cold embrace, yeah. that's for sure. Like, he has no blink, no TP. He's he's pretty much dead there. He's still 300 gold away from his blink. It's it's not all. Oh, no, no. That's, the relic, isn't it? that's relic plus that's, that's point, that's point booster. The point booster on Chessy is gone as well. All right, three minutes delayed. I mean, at least you can maybe collect your radiance all at once. 
<laughs> Look at the upside, I guess. <laughs> Damn. I mean, they weren't going to fight anyway without the completed radiance, so. Alright, time to keep pushing, though. No fighting around these tier twos. Just give them all up and see what gold you can get in exchange. 12 to 8, 19 minutes in. Ice Blast comes in. When does Aegis expire? Two minutes? Minute and 50 seconds? Yeah, it's like two minutes can time. Can just end the game? Uh, they can probably get a lane of Rax at the very least. He's going to try and quickly shot down the Winter Wyvern. He will be able to get the Cold Embrace if the Vacuum actually finished him up. But what a great shackle shot from Chessy. Ultimate goes out. Samus Slayer just ensures a clear out there as Vega Squadron doing a quick retreat after that time. They can focus on the tower now. The old jump back in. They're going to be able to catch Vlad. Oh, he pulled back as well. There's no way he's cursed. Oh, oh my god. Now they really can fully commit to this tier 3 tower before they were fine in a 4 versus 5 scenario. I mean, if you get the Winter's Curse and you have the Ancient Apparition Ice Blast over the top, I think that ensures that you get at least one kill and... And defense of your high ground, yeah. Yeah, but now... Well, okay, Slaughter's coming back up. I'm sure it's... He's got his blink as well. Yeah. Vega, they really shouldn't go for this. They really shouldn't, but they're going to anyway. There's a glyph as well. Stun. Oh, burst down Chatsy. What a setup there. Swindle unable to stop that one, but it is to get the vacuum wall. Swindle's just barely living there once again. And now with all these illusions, they turn it right back around on this tier 3 tower once again. And these four versus five scenarios. Still no ultimate out from the Winter Wyvern as he only just now came back up. Look at the spread now from Vega. They know that that one ultimate could stop them taking racks here. Swindle Melons leading it with a stun, holding on to the Fisher. They jump in. Masha, two man stun actually catches Vlad. Winter's Curse goes down on the solo, but it's way too late for this engagement. Ziz, well, Moon can't really run him down, so instead he just turns onto the Raxes once again. And Vega Squadron are actually going to be able to take this lane of Rax. Ice Blaster, no. That doesn't really change much to the scenario. How's he defend up against this now? And they're. Do, do they actually move towards the mid tier 3 as well? Because they've all regened up, they're full HP, full mana, except for the darks here. Can <laughs> we just keep going? Yeah, just push mid. Like, you don't have to transition straight to tier 3, you can just go back to creep wave and shove that in. You've got a DD at the bottom lane. Noon has completed BKB. So yeah, I'm, I'm down. Just keep pushing. Centaur running in, caught Z Freak. He's dead. Unstoppable. There's the Radiance, but it's right after an unstoppable screen. 19 a 21 and a half minutes in, a 15,000 gold lead by 21 minutes. Not much is going to change here. There's a pipe. We're finally going to see one. Or maybe we won't because the game may end before Pasha completes it, but he's got the Hood of Defiance right now. Do we actually have any buybacks left for the Dyer? No. If, if they can kill right, Winter Wyvern, ulti off cooldown in 25 seconds. If they can kill Bang, jumps in, they're gonna just go straight for Chessie. Fortunately, he did get his wind run off before the vacuum. Now, two men stud, and it's actually a good setup. Let's see if the heals are enough, and Ice Blast over the top will actually be able to kill both of those Vega Squadron members as they are gonna slowly take out Noon with his DD. They needed to be able to burst down. Oh, Swindle. He's going on a solo here, but he's fighting up against a DD Noon. Oh no! Vlad oh, just gets They're ripped dead. apart. Jesse said as well. Why are you fighting into the step one assassin? He's a monster. Oh man! Six seconds, Triple kill beyond godlike. Ziz will be able to get out, but still, I can't believe they they saw this glimmer of hope where they got like oh we got two ground. kills. Let's push back the hordes of Vega. Oh, oh God. Still being All seized. right. Well, is that going to be a second lane of Rax? Doesn't look like it. The buyback is enough to force the TA back. Mag is surging towards mid. I think they're going in again. Where's Pasha? Pasha's... Yeah, he's running there. Pasha, slow. He's got pipe. Done? Yep. Oh yeah, damn, he does. Well, well, well. Courier, please. It flew out there in order to give him the hood of defiance, and now he did, he didn't have enough room to pick up the rest of his uh, other parts of pipe. Oh, almost got the clip there. It doesn't really matter though. 
They'll kill Z Freak one way or the other, and they actually smoke back out. Ready to getting caught for that one quick kill. Pasha doesn't care so much though. Full swindle. Same net worth as the AA. Never got his tranquil boots. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those. Big, big fan. They are pretty nice. Oh. Smoke is gonna pop. I mean, he could still lead with a Fisher, and they could go on Ziz. Oh yeah, they're jumping this. Okay. And I'm surprised they didn't go a lot earlier. They're probably afraid of the turnaround there with the Winter Wyvern and potential Shackle Shot set up. I, I am only just now realizing that Ziz hasn't actually died. It's got to be props to him. In in this game where they're getting trounced so heavily. He's 0, zero 5 He's zero, zero 5 I, That's actually impressive. Oh yeah, his, his relic timing was good. Mm -hmm. Radiant's timing was decent. It's just the fact that he hasn't been able to really do anything with it. Swindle is down. 11th time. <gasps> or oh, maybe not. He's away. Blink ready. Out he goes. See ya, boys. They think he's in the rush pit, but he's not. Oh. Asha, very clever, but uh, not Almost. fast enough. Almost had him. Ziz. <laughs> yeah. Doing a classic. Just dagger the creep wave. Because that's, that's really your only escape. They try and go on you. Daggering into the trees. <laughs> What's Pasha doing? <laughs> Is he just, like, waiting. waiting on Roshan? I wait for Roshmanen, and now he's born. Alright, well, it's finally here, at least. Oh, Spectre Ultimate goes out. They're not going to catch anything out of this, so... That's... That that's is, a massive waste. Yeah, that's a... Like, they're... Real bad. Like, that big... That big combo, obviously, is Winter's Curse, Ice Blast, and then... Wind Ranger damage. Yeah. But it's the Radiance burn from that Spectre that allows him to chase after defending high ground. So another Aegis, Noon, picked this one up alongside his Manta, so he's like, okay, we're really gonna finish up this game. Get my Desolator Illusions to work. What? It, it, there's no reason. There's no other reason, right? But just pushing. No, I don't think so. There's nothing to dispel. You can, you can dodge shackle shot and crush if you're good enough. <laughs> but there's nothing else. Can you dodge ice blast? Actually, you can't. You can't dodge the trail. I don't think, but you can dodge the uh, the nuke itself. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're, you might be right on that. Maybe Swindle. Ooh, that is a. Uh... Uh, that's, some, that's some sushi on the ground right there. That's what that is. That's some nasty sushi, man. Don't know what you've been eating. What, you haven't eaten fish man? Slada sashimi? Oh, that's a combo right there! Chessie was able to get out, but that was a beautiful setup. Vacuum wall, echo slam, but he still kept Chessie. And Vlad is going to be the icing on the cake for Vega Squadron. A lot of buybacks there. But that won't change a thing. They'll just keep on going for that. Nope, jump back in. Hello. Get Z free. Finish up this melee racks. Go for top lane. And I'm sure complexity. They know it's over, but maybe they're just talking out the game at this point. Wait until the throne dies. Yeah. The rules clearly state that the game isn't over until the throne dies. Even if you say yeah. GG 20 times. Gotta, gotta defend that ancient. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, they are moving around in their fountain. That's it. It's it's over. Yeah. So Vega Squadron. Uh, do you think this is a draft? Like it's just a uh, out execution, or do you think it'll draft is a big problem? Uh. I don't know if draft is a big problem. Jesse, you're gonna kill yourself on return before you actually kill the centaur. Focus fire. I think it was execution. Like, they got good farm across the board, they got all the right items, the right heroes. Solo went for the free poison touch to zone out and keep the Slardar at bay. Everything was just really crisp from Vega, whereas Complexity, like, from the very start, they were on the back foot. I don't, I don't know if it was the draft that forced that. 
because of the Spectre pick at the end, mm -hmm. that they knew they had to be defensive around him and force things to happen on other lanes to try and move the move the attention away from the Spectre.